All right, Riverboat Baggers doing a little pre-maintenance uh, to the motorcycles. Jerry's got us a uh, brake fluid tester, just the uh, moisture in the levels, and you can see it's over 4%, so it does have water in the brake fluid. Now we've already done my back brake. Now we're going to do the front brake, and we're going to start on the well, as you're sitting on the bike on the left hand side drain it first and he's got a uh, he's got a manual pump I'll show you that real quick if Jerry can show you that where uh, you put the hose put on the hose the, on the bleeder and then I just pump it up and get pressure and it pulls brake fluid out and I'll stand on top and pour new in as he sucks the old out so it's always got fluid in it and we're getting the old out, the new in. So we'll do the left side, then we'll come do the right side. And uh, we're gonna do Neil's bike next. We'll show you a little bit on his, on the back brake. Um, Neil also has a clutch, hydraulic clutch. And we will be uh, changing the fluid out on that also. Uh, what'd your clutch fluid look like? It was bad. Yeah, we, bad. we did Jerry's a couple weeks ago. Yeah. It was, and uh, it was. I would, didn't expect it to look as rough as it. No, it, it looked like dirty motor, motor oil. It did. It, 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 it was really bad. So uh, we're going to uh, do this real quick, and uh, you'll see what goes on. I'm gonna jack this up. Hold on. Let me get on first. I'm gonna take a ride. <clears throat> All right. Good. Yeah. It's not too high. I'm kind of tall. Now, brake fluid will damage your paint, so make sure you've uh, got your Give me another one there, Neil. That other one down there also. I'm gonna put one up here like this. Yeah. And then one underneath. And you can get him up underneath there. Tell me when you're about ready, Jerry. And all so all I'm doing is just breaking the bleeder loose a little bit so I can start pumping up pressure to start pulling old brake fluid out. Now, I just, I just changed this all out a year ago, Jerry. We put the handlebars on and the chrome controls. So in a year's time, my brake fluid went bad and I put new brake fluid in it. So if you haven't checked your brake fluid, you might want to check into it. It's not real expensive to do, but it's nice. And you can do it by yourself, but it's nice to have at least two people. See if we're getting that. Should we get some out now? Yeah. It's... I think you sucked a little. Now, if I'm right on this, 2008 or 2007 is when they started putting uh, anti-lock brakes on them. So, if you've got newer than a 2007 and you get air in your brake lines, I believe you got to go to Harley and get it uh, serviced there. Put it on a computer. Yeah, they got to put it on a computer and stuff. So, how are you doing up here? I'm, I'm doing cool down here. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing good up here. Ready so, may close it off. Yep, yeah, let's close that one off and we'll go to the other side. When running this vacuum deal, you want to make sure right before you get ready to close the bleeder off that you have pressure. So it just sucks the rest of the brake fluid back up in, inside the thing here. So we probably need to dump that yeah, canister. Uh, show them, show them how dirty it is. Because actually it's supposed to be pretty clear. And it'll have a yellow tint to it, but it will be pretty clear if it's mm -hmm. new. So. Yeah, this is this isn't good looking stuff. I'm gonna go dump it out here in the proper. You gonna oil. take that in for urine tests? I'm gonna take it down here, dump it in the proper oil container, so we get it sent off to EPA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
There it goes. See the brake fluid getting in there. Where'd you get the test kit? I got it off Amazon.com, and I am sponsored by Amazon. <laughs> I am not. <laughs> need to be. <laughs> need to be. <laughs> it was just something I looked up on YouTube, and people had several of them, different brands. You know, no more than this cost. This is probably something, and you got the tools, and it's not too hard. We probably ought to do this every year. You getting quite a bit down there? Uh, just a little over a fourth of a reservoir. It's a lot clearer up here. Probably went every year ready, Jerry. Surely has drained that out. We drained out just as much on this side as we did the other okay. side. I'm tightening them down. All right. All right. What we're doing to Neil's bike also today is we're uh, changing the uh, back rotor. So. I made six hundred bucks for it. <laughs> <laughs> hey fellas, I paid six hundred bucks for a new rotor. Did I get taken or what? <laughs> Well, we got the brake rotor off. Uh, it's not in horrible shape. I think he would have been all right, but it does have some grooves in it. So, you know, safety first. Um, yeah, and it's not that hard of a job. So, you know, so. And we're having a good time. Yeah. You know, drinking beer and working on Neil's bike. So I really don't care Sabotage about that. Sabotaging Neil's bike. Uh, they're having a good time. I'm <laughs> freaking out here but whatever <laughs> although i did loosen up the uh exhaust so you know i, I contributed <laughs> <laughs> so here's a look at the uh new versus old um a little bit of an edge on that one side yeah it's got it's got right some there. wear on it that, that's for sure but tight wad tom wouldn't have bought it, I guarantee you. <laughs> I, I couldn't do brake pads on twice, uh, but we're gonna we're gonna do this. So, hey, look at that, Neil. You could have even done this one. It's got an arrow telling you which way to go. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> I, I'd still put it on there for a reverse. <laughs> this thing got a reverse. <laughs> well, why would you need reverse where we're going? Because well, because I'm a navigator, I know how many times we got to turn around. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> no. Turn it down, right there. Right there. All right, just got the brake rotor on. Now we're looking to uh, test the brake fluid and uh, get that flushed out clean. And so here we go. Oh Woo! yeah, he's got four percent too. Well, I added water to it last week. Was that not a thing? Well, you would have thought it would, you know, you would have <laughs> thought that would have been the thing to do, but. Well, yeah, it was getting hot. Damn. You know, my brake fluid is a dollar more than yours, so it's probably gonna, harder to get into. I say this is a lot harder, harder to get into. <laughs> I paid a dollar for that foil. <laughs> now in the Ultra, we gotta have a funnel. So, okay, Jerry, anytime you're ready. I'll break this loose. Okay. You got suction? Of course I, yeah. No, I don't. I, don't. I thought that was something you always had was suction. Oh, there mine is. Oh. You can keep coming your way. You got All right. Coming. All right. I got her full. Neil put her down on 2014 and up got a uh, hydraulic clutch so we are taking the cover off to find the bleeder underneath this cover you got a little bleeder here with a dust cover 
Okay, it's a little smaller than the uh, brake bleeders, but same purpose. Crack that open, suck the fluid out. Now, I know it ain't real light here, but this is, yeah. Hold that light up here and uh, that is dirty. That is the clutch fluid. So guys, uh, if you got hydraulic clutches, be sure and uh, check this out. Yeah, that is, Jerry's was the same way. Is yours a 15 also? Yeah. 2015, probably neither one of these have been flushed out. And that is dirty. Yeah, all right. Okay, anything coming out? Yeah, it's coming. Sweet. That's bad, man. Yeah, that looks just like dirty. mine. Yeah. So what happens when you ride them hard and put them away wet? Oh, here you go. Here you go. Tested it. One percent. So we're good on the uh, clutch fluid. It's a lot cleaner. All done here. The reservoir is full. I might top off just a smidge before I put the gasket and everything on. Hey guys, as you've seen in the video, we did the clutch fluid flush, the brake fluid flush, uh, changed the rotor on Neil's bike. Um, today we took a ride, test, tested it all out. Uh, I stopped fine. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, come in hot one time, coming into a turn, and uh, <laughs> that, had that to do with brakes. Yeah. Well, I had to make sure they worked. I had to make okay. sure they worked, and, and they did. They they got us slowed down. It got me slowed down. So, uh, you know, Jerry's not with us today because he's the only one that's got a real job of the three of us. So, sorry he wasn't with us on this here, but we did the fluid change on me and Neil. So, what do you think? Uh, again, we got this big trip coming up, trying to get our bikes in tip-top shape for uh, the epic ride we're getting ready to take. Um, and we'll have more of that in the next couple of weeks for sure. Uh, if you like the channel, like, subscribe, share, and we sure appreciate the support. Yeah, thank you guys.